fart. You want it? Oh. Well. <laughs> oh, you bit me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thunderosa eating tacos. Hey guys, what's up? This is Thunderosa. This is the Taco Vlog. Today we couldn't go to a place because Uber took how long, yo? It's about a 20 minute wait to get to pick us up, and then it would have been another like 15 minutes. 15 minutes. minutes. And we were hungry, so we just ordered it. <laughs> so we order, let's see, from. Tacos in Ceviche, which is like five miles from here, but it's four miles, man. Everything is so close by far, like LA, and there's so much traffic. So I'm here with John Silver, guys. Found the team of John Silver and Alex Reynolds. Hi, John Silver. John, how are you doing today? I'm good, and I'm hungry. You're hungry. Okay, so I ordered some Pastor Tacos. What did you order? I ordered some beef tacos. Okay, it's crazy, this, right? This guy, he ordered ground beef tacos and he put lettuce, cheese, sour, sour cream. cream. You put a bunch of shit. You gotta get all of it. You gotta get all the good stuff on it. He put a bunch of shit on his. So. And I got extra sour cream here too. Yeah. I'm jealous. You a sour cream person? Um, no, I can't eat sour cream. I'm like lactose intolerant. Yikes. So. Okay, John, I have to ask you a question. Sure. You are a meme. How does it feel to be a meme it's in a, this business? It's very weird, and people ask, people think it's like an insult that I'm a meme, because it's like, it makes me look like I'm getting turned down by a girl, like I'm hitting on her. <laughs> but I filmed that with Anna with mm -hmm. the intention of like, hey, maybe this will be a meme one day. But I didn't actually think it would be a meme. A meme the I, next day. Not the next day. This was like six months ago. Oh, this is from six months ago. Yeah, so I was very surprised when it became a meme because I'm like, oh, this is an old thing. Like someone must have went back, watched it, and, and then used that and made it a meme. <laughs> so, John, I know, I've known you for a couple years now. Uh, we met in, was it Long Island? Uh, I think it was a Queens mm -hmm. show. It was Queens. No, Queens? Yeah. New York? Yeah, Queens, New York. What show? Long Island. Queens is technically on Long Island. But it's called. It's no, but what, what show was this? I thought that was for. I forgot what show. I don't even know. I don't Actually, know. I have no idea what's going on. So, him and I, holding that and your partner, who's on. Um, are you guys still doing tech together or no? Me and Alex? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, not as much though. No, we take all the time. So, okay. You watch the product? Yeah, I do, <laughs> but I'm like, no. I always see you guys like doing like multi men. This is we the do, one that well, I see. We do a lot of like. Uh, six man tags and eight man tags, but we're still tagging together. So let's start went from the beginning, before I met you. Like, how did you start it in this crazy business then? I started when I was 14 years old. Um, I was on a uh, MySpace wrestling fan MySpace, bro. group or whatever. <laughs> mm -hmm. and I'm, I didn't think I was able to wrestle because I was 14, but I was like, mm -hmm. does anyone know a wrestling school? Someone in there said MYWC, it's in Long Island. Mikey Ripreck was the head trainer. Uh, I called them up. They said that we, I was young, but like since I'm athletic and in good shape and stuff like that, mm -hmm. that they would let me train uh, as long as my parents were okay with it. So my parents were like, sure, let's do it. And I got signed up. And then uh, when I was 14, I was 110 pounds. I was just about to ask you if you were just <laughs> If you were this big when you were that little. Uh, I was a tiny little boy. I wrestled in the 112-pound weight class in high school. Yeah, so when people wanted to practice moves, <laughs> they would oh, do it on me. On. So yeah, they got you yeah. like a rag doll? I was a rag doll, but I'm glad I put on some muscle. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, when, when you're in eighth grade, you really, no one really has a lot of muscle, honestly. Mm -hmm. But I remember like flexing and like people in the class coming over to watch me flex. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sh John's got some big arms. Like, because I guess that's when kids are starting to like develop some type of muscle. Or mm -hmm. so like, when you do have it, and you and you like, if you're the first person to grow like muscles, people are like, oh sh. How big were their muscles? Probably small. So back then, <laughs> <laughs> I was 14 years old. Yeah. Cameo. What are you eating tacos right now? Yeah. Is this it right here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
What's happening? Nothing much. We eat, we were waiting for our tacos for 45 minutes. Where'd yeah. you get them from? Taco and ceviche. Taco and ceviche? That's the they close at seven. We got a bite. This is falling apart. You want it? Oh. Well, <laughs> you bit me a little bit. <laughs> I got to be on a taco vlog without eating. Uh, well, I, I got to, you know, I got to do a taco vlog with you pretty soon. soon I bit you. <laughs> he did bite me. It didn't hurt a little bit. He got a little freaky no, right I'll now. I'll do a taco vlog with you. By the way, you got some Max's Wednesday. Yep. Yeah, how you feel? I feel good. Just got a little workout in. I'm going to take your cucumber and of walk. Of course he is. I'll let you guys get back to it. I don't want to. No, you're good. Moment, you know? <laughs> Thanks for letting me share. Bye, Sky. Sorry, I bit you. Yeah, you know, hey, we know I'm, you're freaky. I'm okay. Still, I'm still brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell nobody. Not nah, too late. Sub hobs. You know, where everybody's like right now, you know, doing this thing. We're um, in, by the way, we're in the lobby of the hotel, so people are just walking by. Oh, yeah. You know, because we're in. So you, you are 14, you're like training. When did you have your first match? Uh, illegally, when I was 16, I had my first match. Mm -hmm. um, it was a battle royal, and I won. I won my first match. Is there footage of this? Yeah. On YouTube? Yeah. Hey, you know, El Editor, you have to find this match, because I would love to see this man winning his first match. I'm pretty sure if you look up, I think there's fan footage of my first match. And I'm wearing black shorts and like random boots. I was gonna look for it, but I'll, I'll wait. Good John night. Silver Battle Royal, it might come up. I don't know. This, is, have, this is a mess, by the way. Yeah, I see that. Are they pretty good? They're good. It's just messy. Your tacos should be messy, man. My tacos are good. My taco is really good. I mean, yeah. <laughs> no pun intended. I'm dripping everywhere. Good boys. And you what and up? Alex like literally grew up together. Alex in the business. In the business, yeah. Dude, I'm about to flick and lick your fingers like you have almost. <laughs> 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 you have so much in your fingers. I got it's so much shit crazy. everywhere. Yeah, who does? I wish I had utensils, so I'm just picking it up my hands. It's okay, bro. That's how we eat. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so what was that first match that you and Alex had? Sorry, that you remember you're like, holy shit. Put, put, put you guys in the map. Um, the one that I guess that put us on the map um, was probably us at CZW. Cause that was like our first like bigger name independent promotion that mm -hmm. we started teaming together at. And uh, first we wrestled um, G's and Ruckus, uh, Blackout. And that match was just kind of like quick. It was like eight minutes, whatever. But then we wrestled uh, Asriel and Bandito. Yeah. Bandito? Yeah. When Bandito was like little Bandito, no, like not Bandito. Bandito, the referee Bandito, WWE. Oh, yeah. you remember him? Yeah, so we wrestled uh, Azrael and Bandito. He's a referee, but this Bandito is a referee in uh, in WWE. Now. Sorry, I'm burping. Uh, burping. <laughs> in WWE now, but we had a really good match, and that's when we kind of just started to take off a lot more, and that's when like CCW started to kind of. Bro, you can do this. Hold on. That's what I was trying to do. Oh, okay, there you go. I have kids. <laughs> <laughs> and a husband. There, there you go. go. <laughs> he's like his fingers on my feel sorry. <laughs> I was just gonna finger it, no big deal. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, but um. And then you and Alex have like a really sick double team move that Holly that took and she died. Mm -hmm. It was like a bam, 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 bam. I was like, I don't feel like I could survive that. <laughs> So tell our, our people if they don't know what what you guys do, what, what the, the move said and that, that I'm talking about. So our tag team finish is we got one of them in the corner. I do a step up chest kick, throw them to Alex. Alex is with a, uh, an elbow, turns to me. I hit it in Zagari, turns to Alex, stutter, turns to me, German. German. And then Alex, if he's legal, he'll float over with a pin. It's pretty darn crazy. It's pretty hardcore. Yeah, it's pretty hardcore. So you and Alex are wrestling in the Indies. What is like one of the, big, the biggest challenges that you both had uh, prior to you being signed to AEW? It's probably the biggest challenge is we didn't have a lot of good matches. Mm -hmm. And it was getting the internet to like love it so much that you were everywhere. Because mm -hmm. 
especially if we are beyond wrestling. We always have really good matches beyond. Yes. CCW um, evolves sometimes. And I see some people have a match that is pretty good, not bad, and then, then all of a sudden they're everywhere. Yes. And I'm like, damn, I'm killing it every week. And like, <laughs> not that I'm not everywhere, but I want to be more yeah. places. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know what's missing. I'm getting cheered a lot everywhere I go. People are loving the matches, but I'm not getting flown in here and doing this and that. Our, our like with the Indies is so for us it was so up and down because we would have like we would be like oh we're doing Chikara, Evolve, CZW, Beyond and then like like a month later we're doing I got like no bookings <laughs> like I'm like what's going on and then I get back and then I'm doing Beyond again then I'm doing CZW then I'm off for this week or off for this month and it's just like it's so up and down mm -hmm. and it's like it messes like with your your mental head like I mean like Sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm doing great. This wrestling's going fantastic. I hope it gets signed soon. And then sometimes I'm like, I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll quit. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do something else. At what stage were you in in your like wrestling career where you're like, this, I'm done? Or like you knew something was coming? I was on the very edge of almost, I wouldn't say quitting. Mm -hmm. But when AEW started and it was starting, they started signing a bunch of people. That's also when WWE was signing a bunch hey, of people. Everybody, yes. So AEW didn't sign us until they, the TV started, uh, and WWE we hit them up, kind of talked to them a little bit, but they weren't like saying anything to us. So I'm like, I'm like, if all these wrestlers are getting signed and we're not, like, it's they, no one likes us. We're maybe we're done. This did you did you and your and Alex did you ever had like an like an issue with like maybe I'm too small, maybe we're not good enough? Like oh definitely. I mean, WWE. I knew probably was never going to mm -hmm. sign me, but they were signing a lot of smaller guys at that time, so they had mm -hmm. 205 and stuff like that. But I feel like they weren't looking for, they weren't looking for someone like me. Mm -hmm. uh, so I thought I was obviously too small there. AEW I knew was always a possibility, but at least in my head, I don't, I'm crazy to think this now, but in my head then I was like, oh, they have a full roster now. They don't need any more people. <laughs> that, that's when they started, but we got plenty more people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I was just like, damn, like, no one's like hitting us up to do stuff. We kind of talked to the Young Bucks when AEW was starting, but it was very small conversation. Mm -hmm. They basically said, hey, big things are coming. You should just, 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 you so know. So what was the match that got you guys pretty much like your contract to AEW? Well, we had a, we got a tier zero contract. It was just like just a per appearance deal mm -hmm. uh, early. Once we got Ed to the Dark Order, that's when we got the Tier Zero. Not once when we, mm -hmm. but like a few, like a month later. Um, but when we got our full-time deals, it was right after me and Alex wrestled uh, Matt Cardona and Cody. And I think that Tony didn't know that we were full-time, like we weren't full-time. Yes. Because after like, it was really cool because Brody was there. Brody's like, you guys need to be full-time. Like, you guys need to be both full-time. I'll, I'll go talk to Tony. Chris Jericho was like, oh, oh, oh yeah, I'm going to talk to him, too. Like, it was like everyone like went to bat for us. It was, like, nice. really cool. Because um, none of them had to do that. I know, like, Stu and Uno were like, yeah, we need to, let's get you guys full-time deals now. We gotta. And then, it, like, Tony's like, oh, yeah, they're not. They're not full-time. <laughs> and then, like, and then probably about 10 or 15 minutes later, the Young Bucks are like, hey, we need to talk to you. Ooh, uh, you know, got serious right there. Yeah, but we knew, we just had a good match. So we knew it was, like, prob we're probably going to sign. And they're like, we're, gonna, we gotta, we're giving you guys full-time deals. So yeah. like, I mean, it was just like how did your life change? From relief, that? like such relief to have that because the whole time, oh, this is my handsome man. Hey, Preston. Um, the whole time, like <laughs> Alex was still working at his real job for like for like about the six months when we were on the per appearance yes. deal. I quit <laughs> because I didn't want to like, be there anymore. This year. Funny, we both worked at a Lifetime Fitness, which is a gym, but we worked at two different separate locations oh, okay. that were like 15 minutes away from each other. That's funny. So I quit because I was really bad at sales and I just <laughs> didn't try and I would hide. Uh, but you were still getting paid? I was still getting paid, but I would legit hide. <laughs> I would work out for like two hours, which we're supposed to have like an hour break. I'd work out for two hours. Jesus. And then I'd go into the bathroom and take a shower for about 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> And then they'd be like, every week, 
like your sales. We need to get your sales up. What's going on? I don't. I, by the way, I, I feel like I don't see you a lot. Where are you at? And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm walking there. around. I'm doing the thing, you know, like I'm, I'm doing my thing. But I couldn't lie to them anymore. I'm like, all right, I, I'm done. I can't. I'm not going to make sales. I don't care anymore. How was that your, your experience with Brody? And like, how did that like help you and Alex kind of like be who you are now? Uh, well, Brody is the man, obviously. He's the coolest guy. Um, I, just, I love when you guys do the bids and he used to be like, like giving you guys a business and you guys like were holding your f***ing laughs. <laughs> yeah, because he was, he's so funny and he <laughs> likes to make us crack. So we had to eventually just pretend like we were crying to, 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 to make it, because we were, we were, I'm like, we would film it like four or five times. I'm like, all right, I'm going to laugh. I'm, I'm just going to pretend I'm crying. So we're just going like, to put my head down and start to cry. Uh, but... Um, yeah, Brody had a huge impact on our, our careers. I mean, he's yes. like like I said before, he's the one that he, like went up to Tony. He was like, "You guys need to sign these guys." Like, um, but he, he was just the man. I mean, doing those bits too on BT was so much fun. It's probably the most fun I've had in my career. Uh, that's where you that's where you became a meme, right? Yeah, that's where I eventually <laughs> eventually became a meme. Uh, but BT too, in general, was just like so. Was, is actually the reason we got signed too. Because if oh. we weren't doing BT, I don't know if we would have. We probably would have been fired. <laughs> <laughs> when definitely when working in the Indies, like we used to have so much fun in the ring. We have had so much fun, you know, yeah. here. And um, so, the last question, like, because I know we talk about a lot about wrestling, but who who is like really John? Like, Ian, when you see the BT, when you see the promos and in the ring, is like 100% me. Like, not just, I mean, there's no even, there's no acting at all. So he eats a lot. He works out a lot. He is a beast in the ring. He's a beast in the freaking gym. I seen him work out. Like, when we used to be in Jacksonville, I think it was like, Alex, you, me, and somebody else, we used to be in the, in the gym all the time. Yep. All the time. But, um, hey. Um, yes, yes, people come. Passing through. Um, I'm just really proud of you. Like, I remember when you got signed, I was really happy for you and for Alex because, you know, like, we all kind of, like, came from the same, you know, cut from the same, you know, cloth. Back, yeah, cloth, and, <laughs> and we were all struggling out there. And now we're in, like, a really cool place and where we can be ourselves. You know, mm -hmm. I just get, got asked, like, what is it I like about, you know, me being here? And I said, I'm allowed, I'm, I'm allowed to be myself. Yeah. And that's, like... I think for us, like it really play out really well because, like you, you have, to, you have to be yourself, and people can see that. That's why I was like, "Who is John?" Is like, "Well, it's me." I was like, it's "Pretty much." Pretty I mean, much. I like to work out. I like to uh, eat. <laughs> I like to, to eat. <laughs> play video games. What's I your like favorite video game? Favorite video game of all time, or what do you really just right like now? But um, is there anything else that you like to tell my fans or like new fans that I don't know you? Uh, just watch AEW. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, and just, I don't know, watch wrestling and have fun with it. There you go, he said it. So don't forget, uh, what are your social? At Silver Number One. And number is spelled out, but one is just the one. <laughs> Very difficult. Is that for... Placebo Uno walking right there. Um, is that for just for Twitter or for everything? For Twitter and Instagram. Twitter and Instagram. What's your YouTube? Do you still use it? Not really. <laughs> well, if you want to see it, see it there. Um, uh, is there any advice you will give to guys that want to pursue wrestling or want to pursue anything, but they don't feel like necessarily they are the, the image or they have what it takes? Uh, you just got to work your ass off and... Just, you gotta work really hard I, I, at every aspect of being a wrestler. So, there, and there's a lot to it. It's not just being the best in the ring, which that's what people usually want to just do. Nope. Is just be like, oh, I'll wrestle real good, and I'll have good matches, and I'll should be everywhere. No, you gotta get your ass to the gym. You gotta work on promos. You gotta get good at social media. You gotta be a good human being so other people don't bury you. It, <laughs> yes. it's, uh, it's it's a lot to do, but it's you have to do all of it, or you're lowering your chances of ever making it. Yeah, and I will I totally agree with that. And that's why I have my sponsors for the Modern Wellness Center who pay for this taco blog. Whoa. You guys, you know, can follow them. Their socials are there. Uh, remember, guys, we have um, a lot of cool stuff happening for us, you know, happening for the company. 
Uh, don't forget to watch AEW Wednesdays uh, on TBS, uh, Fridays on TNT, and Mondays and Tuesday, Dark and Elevation. Mm -hmm. And who knows, ROH is going to be doing some stuff. Now we have ROH. Yeah. So it's going to be really cool. I'm really excited about that. I'm interested. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> and uh, well, that's, this was the taco log. That's, how do you, do you like the tacos, actually? The tacos are good. The, the, one, it was, the last one was really made well. The second one with the shell was just made to sh and it got destroyed. But it was good. I got a little dirty. No but um, good times. My tacos were good. I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to eat what you love, do what you love, work really hard. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.